Welcome back to First and Ten, Acadiana's longest running high school football show. District play is in full effect, and especially that's the case in District 5 4 A. And that's where News 10 Sports Jalen Cavalier started his night tonight. Jalen, my good man, how was the action? Ski. Let me tell you, it was another great night of high school football. And with only two games left of the high school football season, you know those district games matter most. Now let's start at Donald Gardner Stadium. That's where Opelousas took on Cecilia tonight. With the Tigers already up 21-9 to at half, Zay Amos gets the handoff. He carries. He's, he's bullying his way down there. He's taking Bulldogs with him as he picks up the big first down right there. So next play. He gets the handoff again, but unfortunately, he isn't, he isn't able to get the first down on fourth down. Bulldogs get the ball right back. And then we take it to the fourth. Bulldogs' Davis Germain finds Isaiah Champagne, who tosses it back to Ridge Collins, who takes it all the way to the end zone for six. But it's Opelousas who gets the win. 21-16, to 16, the final. Now we're going to take it to Red Devil Stadium. Port Berry taking on Bazille tonight. Port Berry, not Port Berry, I'm sorry, Bazille Gets the, gets the handoff to Ashton DeVille, who takes it in for six. And then right here you see on fourth down, Red Devils, ooh, they're just, they're just short. They're just short. They can't get the first down. But don't worry, Port Berry fans. Owen Pontu throws it deep, finds Adam Barron right before half as he sneaks his way in for the touchdown. But in the end, it's Bazille who gets the win, 24-6, to six, the final. Definitely some fun times there. That trick, that trick play, that that is that was a thing of beauty. It was almost like almost like you were scooping out water from a bucket from a boat or anything like that. But the wherewithal to be there was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, and then the fact of the matter was, ski when I was when I was there, it's like it, it kind of the receiver when he caught it, it kind of looked like he tipped it, and then you know Ridge Collins, the running back, was able to just you know just get it and take it in for six. So it was it was a great play. Awesome, Jalen. Appreciate you. Now, Notre Dame at De Quincey as we keep the highlights going. Jake Bruyette is going to do what Jake Bruyette does, scores touchdowns into the end zone there. More Pio offense. Aiden Mouton to Grady Falk, a 15-yard touchdown. 49-0, Notre Dame rolls. DeRitter taking on Eunice, the Dragons, the Bobcats. And this one had plenty of scoring in that one. Early in the first, after, for, after forcing you know, the punt, a kill, real turnover, Ronnie Crosby would slither his way to the goal line. Later in the first, Bobcats would respond. Josh Brown showing off this arm and finds his receiver, it's Eileen Cooper, all the way for the touchdown. Now, second quarter, Dragons up 28-14. The Bobcats were doing their best to hang in this one. Josh Brown finds his man, Tylen Cooper, again. 28-22 before half. Dragons would go on to beat Eunice 49-38. Como welcomed in New Iberia. Second quarter, 14-12 Nish. Allen Hamilton looking for a receiver in the end zone. Cedric Moore is the receiver. He's in the end zone. 21-12 visitors. Then later on in the second quarter, Hamilton would hand it off to Chonga Charles, who would plow in for six. Nish would go on to win 48-12. to Now, let's have a look at Melvin's mascot of the week. It's from Acadiana. Her name is Rambo. And Rambo the Ram enjoys reaching out and uh, greeting the young high school fans. That's your mascot of the week and definitely not bad at all. We'll have a look at Thursday night matchups after this. But first, fans of the week. You're watching First and Ten, sponsored by 